Good morning, everybody. Okay, we're. Uh, I'm still not. I'm still not wearing clothes naturally. Wow, the weather feels good. Wow. Okay, it's not cold. I hate cold weather. So, I'm just uh, come out here in my undies and see if the weather was good. So, <clears throat> that's good. Good day to go to the track. Then ooh, spider. I ooh, I hate spiders. Look at the spider. It's a little one, but it's right where I need to be. Where did it go? I absolutely hate spiders. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to get the bike ready. I think it's actually ready already. I don't know, ready already. But we're gonna get the bike ready to go. And then Hunter, I don't know if Hunter had been on the YouTube yet. Hunter's coming over, helping her work on her bike. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to Three Palms. I'm just doing a once over on everything, making sure we're ready to go to the check. And I believe we are, but um, if you don't do this, if you watch my YouTube for moto, so for you moto people, for me, what I do, I write down all my records on my bike. So that way, every time anything happens on the bike, I can go back, look at it, and when I go to sell the bike, I have detailed records on every single thing I do on the bike. So 32.8, I put a chain sprocket, and... My dad wrote that one, I have no idea what that says. Something ED air filter, whatever that means. He writes these little triangle things that mean nothing to me. It's a shape, not a letter. I don't know, maybe that means oiled, but I never I never write down the air filter because I change it every time I go to the track, so it's just one more thing. We got 33.6 on it, and I just put a clutch in it, and I have that written that down yet, so we are going to go ahead, write that down in there. There you go, sweet. So write down your records. You can never forget anything. You gotta know exactly how much time. And then also something else that I use this for is like, say like if I'm trying a different part, like say a chain or something, I can see how long that chain will last. So if I put a chain on like 20 hours and I get to say five hours out of the chain or however long I can go back and look, see 25 hours, okay, I got five hours, try a different chain. 25 hours, do the next one at 35. I got 10 hours, I know that's a better chain, you know, so it lasts longer, whatever it is or a different chain lube, see if that'll make my chain last longer if I'm using the same kind of chain with a different chain lube. So you can do different tests and stuff if you write down your records and then just makes your maintenance easier. You, you know exactly how long your oil has or whatever. So, but things like air filters, change that every ride. I change, I never go to the track with a dirty filter and it has a clean filter in it right now, brand new oil, everything's ready to go. Give you a sneak peek at the new kit. So, y'all know I've been with Fly, I mean with Moose for a long time, but now, New setup. Oh, buddy. Dude. What do y'all think about the sticker? Put it, leave a comment. Is that, is it, is sticker Goonie or is it cool? I feel like it's kind of cool. It's got my name on there. But how clean is this helmet? This thing is so sick. Shout out Freedom MX. Check them out. They're, they're real nice people over there. But <clears throat> so sick. Okay, so we got the helmet. It's a new helmet we're working with. Gear, I'm trying to decide which gear I'm gonna wear today. I haven't, I haven't ridden in a couple weeks now. So, so sick. All right, I thought this would be easier. So, all black. These jerseys will alternate with these pants. Super sick. And then the helmet. That helmet is so clean. All right, so leave a comment which setup you think is the sickest. We also have with this jersey style, have the red, white, and blue setup coming. So that's gonna be sick. So, <clears throat> you know, always gotta have the red, white, and blue. Look at this. I mean, <clears throat> when the best looking person in your family is not a person, just look at her. Hello, Harley. Yeah, see that? That's a natural. Where are you going? Come here. You've been laying in the street all day. Come on, baby. You're really slow moving, you know it? Hello. You're hot. And you're warm too. I will say, I'm kind of sad to semi-retire this helmet. This will be kind of a backup helmet now, I guess, but I just think this helmet's so sick. But we got the new kit, so. Fly hooked it up. So we finished working on Hunter's bike. I didn't film it just because we were trying to get through it, you know, get it all ready to go so she can get out of there and then I can head out and get to the track. 
Um, so we got her bike all taken care of, everything's good. I'm heading to the track where I was, then I realized after I got a few miles down the road, I forgot the GoPro, and the track closes in an hour and 50 minutes. Wait. Yeah, an hour and 50, no. It's two, it's 2.20, it closes at 4.40, 4.30. So the track closes in an hour, I think it's an hour and 50, I don't know, I'm too tired and in a hurry. So now we're heading back to the track now, or to the house. We're heading to the house so we can get the GoPro that I forgot because I need some riding footage. GoPro acquired. Um, CR125 update for those that are wanting to keep up on that. Um, the 125 update is I've still been dragging my feet. So I've got everything ready. I just have not sent off the crank. So lazy me. But <clears throat> we're getting that rolling. I should have that out this week, I hope. So good news and bad news. Good news, I, or actually bad news, I forgot simple math and couldn't figure out the time situation. So it's 2.20, track closes at 4.30. That's two hours and 10 minutes I have till the track closes. Bad news, well one, I'm on the gas starts on crashing this car, that not good. Bad news, it took me a while to figure that out. More bad news, <clears throat> that's still not a whole lot of time to go to the track. More good news, that's more time than we had before. More good news, I've got a rice cake and it's a cinnamon something, I have rice cake and it tastes good and I like that. Muscle doctor, sports nutrition, drink mixed up here so I got my electrolytes mixed in my arm pump powder bits so that way when we get there hopefully we can minimize the arm pump um, especially with uh haven't been riding since or in like two weeks and it's just been going to the gym haven't done a lot of cardio either just I can't stand running on treadmills I do them every now and then especially when I got a race coming up or something I run on a treadmill if I have to but if I can avoid it I always do I like to run outside just treadmills are just too boring for me I hate running in just one spot and then I get all wobbly and stuff. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm not coordinated or what, but <clears throat> not good. But got our drink here. Tastes good. Muscle Doctor has some good flavors. Um, also, they gave me some sample packs. I'll grab one here and show you if I can do it without crashing at the same time. And so they gave me some sample packs of arm pump powder. The one that I have, the regular bucket that I've got, this is... It's sour candy flavor is what it's called. It's not really that sour or anything. It actually tastes pretty good. It's a really good flavor, actually. It's like smooth. Um, this one here, the sample packs I've got, if y'all see me at the track for, for sure, you know, feel free, hit me up, come by, ask for one of these arm pump powders. If you have an arm pump problem, hit me up for one of these things and I'll, I'll let you try it out. And um, they work, they actually do. Like, I'm not getting paid to say this. They legitimately work. I can't believe it. I've tried all kinds of different supplements and I don't know what's in this stuff that actually makes it work. I've read the ingredient list and I can't figure it out. I don't know if they just have the right combination of the stuff or what, but this stuff actually works pretty good. So it tastes pretty smooth. So whatever it recommends, if you're diluted just a little bit past that, it tastes really good. But I like to drink my stuff in a shot, just get it down. So I'd fill my bottle up, you know, about that much and then just put the powder in there and shake it really good and just chug it and wash it down with some water. That's how I normally do my stuff, just easier. I did this way just because that's the water that I had in my cup at the time. But for sure, if y'all see me, hit me up for some of this, one of these pods, the little, that's what they call them, the pods, little packs. Hit me up and I'll, I'll let you try it. And then I have a discount code that I'm working out right now, I'm trying to get one. And I'll hit me up and we can, you can order your own through a Muscle Doctor. And all three palms USA. Oh, what? What is that? Something you need to buy, looks like. They said they spot prepped a little bit because it was super rough. So they prepped some spots here and there. So not your typical rough track Monday, but it should be pretty good still, I'd say.
we're loaded up, we're heading out, we're following Reed, we are going to Market Street in the Woodlands, and I forgot to put on my seatbelt as always. So we'll be there in a right about, cool transition. Well, that was quick. All right, so we're in Market Street. I went to HEB and got an apple. Actually, I got two apples, I already ate one. So now I'm full, I bought the second apple for no reason. But our buddy, that works security over here is gonna get us some fish tacos because we may or may not be kicked out of this restaurant. We can't go in it. So he's gonna go hook us up and get us some tacos. So this bowl is super hot in here. Grab it, grab it, you're full handed. Grab it, grab it, no balls, grab it, grab it. Jason, come on. <laughs> I'm eating a fruit. <laughs> Oh, what is that? What are those dips? Fry, hey, no, no, the dips. What are the dips? Cayenne. Oh, that's. I want to try it. Well, that smells bitter. I mean, take it. That's more bitter than you. That one. That, that one's really good. Doesn't have a lot of flavor. I've been bloated all day. I dipped from the other end. By the way, I didn't double dip it. That'd be rude. Yeah, it would. Hey, you know what's funny? Pretty solid. I don't know the white one is, but it tastes better than the yeah, tan one. Bow tie pasta. Hey, Panini. Don't you be a meanie. Is that how it goes? Stupid. It's my favorite song. Oh, Toto. I'm definitely not in Africa anymore. Toto got caught up. This song. You like this song? No? Oh, come on. Favorite song. It's Toto. That's Toto. <laughs> That's gonna be a wrap on this vlog for today. Um, we're we actually had a new friend show up. Uh, he's one of Chasen's friends. Um, me and Reed just met him for the first time today. His name's Travis. Super cool dude. He seems um, so, and he he does videoing stuff. Um, he's big into I think he said like surfing and uh, just anything on the board. He said so. I guess he's pretty good at that stuff. So hopefully we can do some like surfing or something here pretty soon. I, I've always wanted to go surfing, but never really had a place to do it. Um, never known how to do it or anything. Never had a board, none of that. So he said he's got boards and he can teach us. That'd be sick. But um, he, he does edits and stuff. So he said he'll come out to the track with us and do an edit. So Wednesday we might have an edit coming out from that Travis made for us. That's going to be super sick, sweet if he'll do that for us. But as always, guys, like, subscribe be ready for the next videos hit that bell and i'll see you on the next one peace